What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Pronorn Heroes. My name's Jem, which are actually just the initials of my full name that I don't like going by, which is George. <laughs> and it's nothing personal to anyone else named George. I just never felt like it fit me personally while I was growing up. So my friends call me Jem. Nice to meet you. Real quick, a few of my favorite toku shows have got to be Power Rangers Jungle Fury, Kamen Rider O's, Mirai Sentai Time Ranger, and the newly added Garo vs. Road. But I'm also a musician, mainly a drummer. Most of the songs you hear on the channel are tracks I wrote myself, aside from any actual toku background tracks. I played in bands most of my teen years and toured some of the East Coast after graduating high school. I'm also a line cook. Culinary school is actually where I met my partner Fee, who you've seen around the channel. We lived in Philadelphia for a couple of years and it's actually where the channel got started as Deck of Fire. What's going on people of YouTube? My name is Deck of Fire and I'm- It was an attempt to put in my own two cents on things that were going on in the fandom, but after not being able to put out much content due to focusing on paying jobs that would pay my bills, I figured I wouldn't really go back to it. And before you know it, we were leaving Philly, moving up a little northeast to a place called Kingston, Pennsylvania. It was more affordable and we had our friends close by to hang out with and peer pressure into getting into tokusatsu. <laughs> That's where Toku Marvel and More TV was born, the digivolution of Decafire. I'm Jem. I'm Fee. Welcome back to Toku Marvel and More TV. It was another attempt at making sure people knew what our content was while also trying to brand ourselves in some way. After some cringy but slightly funny videos. He's gonna use those powers on his journey through the decade. and a few ideas I really ended up liking, oh, um. I decided it was time to take things a bit more seriously. So after the world was hit by a global pandemic, I figured what better time than any to shift into Turbo and really see what I could do with this. And thus, Pronhorn Heroes came to be. So you might be asking, what makes Pronhorn Heroes that much different than Toku Marvel and More TV other than the name change? Well, with Pronhorn Heroes, I don't want to put out just any video. While I do love making silly, cringy content, that might have to stay over on TikTok. Day number one of henching for Rosie O'Frickin' Donald until she notices me. I love you, golly. Where we've been posting a bunch recently, come hang out. Because I'm looking to bring something new to the Toku community. I want to document my journey of tokusatsu through reactions, through unboxings, reviews, and everything in between. Every story has a beginning, and every journey has a first step. I've taken mine, and if you're watching this, you're already along for the ride. But I want to remember these days, being excited about a new toy, or the new episode this week. It's fun when you binge a show, but it's also nice to look back and see what your very first reactions were to that show that you watched week to week. I also want to create a space where fans can feel proud and happy about what they're watching. Show off that henshin. Let's talk about why that season is good without the worry that someone might bash it. You like Ghost? Sweet. There's so many aspects that I love about that series. A huge fan of Operation Overdrive? Great. I believe it has one of the, if not the biggest, plot twists in Power Rangers history. And if I just so happen to not like a season you love, please, tell me what makes you love it, cause I'm all ears. I'm also very much into documenting and filmmaking, so I'm hoping that I can hone these skills while making content that both you and I can enjoy. I'd love to know what made any season a treasure for you, because that's the main reason I started this channel. I wanted to start making content that I wanted to see in the community, and I haven't fully embraced that just yet here in the channel, but I promise I'm working towards it. I can't say I'm the best at editing, filming, or writing but I can tell you that I have a passion for it that can't be taken away, just like this genre. Tokusatsu is a huge part of my life, and it always has been. I'm hoping I can reach people within our fandom, but also go further beyond that, and maybe catch the eyes and ears of people who don't know what the heck we're talking about. Cause sometimes, people just see toys. But to me, and Sophia, these are pieces of memories of the times that we got to laugh, 
cry and bond over these wild, dramatic, CGI-filled pieces of media we all know and love. So thank you if you've made it this far. Thank you if you've subscribed. And thank you if you've ever told me that this wouldn't work out. Because that's just the fuel I need to make something worth being proud of. It's 2021, baby. And no matter what happens outside of this room, you can always count on me coming in here, sitting in this chair, and uploading another video about these shows that we love to watch. I'll see you later, Tokuheads.